Sunday morning. Surf church. It's a beautiful day. We're headed to Williams and Sonoma. Like off the mall store. For our first knife gig. They open at noon. It's uh, about 10.15 now. The lady that runs the store that got me in there. She gets at 11, so I'm headed down there to set up and be ready by noon. I'm traveling kind of light today, but <clears throat> sort of like my same gun show set up with my big black box I drag in my cart. We'll see how it goes. Stand by. Mm, dreams are made out of things here. Look at here. Oh, what's this? 65% off. K. Kai, whatever you want to call them. Oh, Stoss. Mm hmm. Shuns. Oh, I like it. Twelve hundred and seventy-nine bucks. Twelve hundred and seventy-nine bucks for that one. Some globals. Nine hundred and forty-nine dollars. What's those? Two hundred ninety-nine dollars. Legendary set. Two twenty-nine. What's those? Global. Sai. That's some nice, nice blaze in here. Globals are two thirty nine for four, and the shuns are two two twenty two ninety nine or two thirty nine. I've only seen pictures of these. I never actually saw one in real life. That's a pocket knife, three hundred bucks. Ebony wood and ivory folding knife. And there's a wine pour for two hundred. Global. Mm. Great Google Mooga. Great value. <clears throat> this is a nice store. Tentatively, that's where I'm going to set up right there. I got my wicked edge in front. My uh, Kalamazoo right there and my grinder. <clears throat> I may not use the grinder, all depends. You know, some knives need buffing up a little bit, some don't. But if I don't bring it, everyone I get will be dishwasher stained and you know what I mean. They get that harsh chemical soap, rusty looking stuff on them. Okay, we got about well, 20 minutes for the open. We'll see how it goes at Surf Church, Wednesday in Sonoma.
<laughs> How you doing? Let's add um, Kathy's the next shot. Off. Um, just by different vendors, um, and we're looking for something. If you just want to make a slice. Well, it's Monday morning, about 8:30. Beautiful day. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to work on the video from the Williams and Sonoma knife gig. But first, I want to share with you something that the lady of the house has bought us. Viking Blade. Shaving bowl dish. Sandalwood Shaving Cream, Taylor's, Old Bond Street, England. <clears throat> the Chieftain. How to use a straight razor. I mean a safety razor. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see if this will come on. You turkey. Uh-oh. A video on how to do it. I have used one of these, but it was long ago in my youth. And I'm not going to show you how it works or anything. I'm just going to... In the next day or two, I'll do a sort of meager review on it. It's supposed to be better than sliced bread. But according to this guy here, you got to shave three times. You got to shave one time. You got to go back over the whole process to get a baby smooth shave. Shave the second time. And then if you want to have a really fancy, fancy smooth, you do it one more time with a different razor. Now I can see that happening, all right? Shave three times in one day. Yes, yeah, sir. But anyway, the good thing is, <coughs> my guy just knocked on my door and brought me some knives. He called and said he was coming. <coughs> this is a 1980-some era block of uh, J.A. Heckles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven knives, a fork. And in the middle is a big cleaver. Those days you got cleavers with your heckles. Big, big old fat boy. And in the middle of that he had a buck fillet knife. A fish fillet knife, you know. Now this guy is the same guy that you remember about two weeks ago brought me this knife and he wanted me to sharpen. This is a handmade knife that a friend of his made for him. He did the handwork, work, if you remember, and a, blade, and a guy made the blade. <clears throat> well, apparently he was never happy with the finish on the knife. So he took some sandpaper and polished the blade itself everywhere. Four or five different grits of polish, I mean uh, sandpaper. And got it like he wants it, he says. Now he wants me to resharpen it. The sandpaper dulled it. It's not too bad, but it's not as sharp as it was. <clears throat> you see the knife is thick all the way through. I think I'm going to move the bevel up on this knife now that he's, since he's finished with it. Move it up maybe an eighth. Thin it out a little bit so it'll be sharper. And stay sharp. We'll have to see. I'm not going to tackle this stuff tomorrow. Maybe this afternoon. It all depends. I got some stuff I got to do. Besides shaving, that is. Okay. Stand by. We'll get to all that stuff later. <clears throat> 